Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to talk about allocating additional resources to a task and what the impact on the duration of that task might be. So on the screen, I've got four tasks and in the resource sheet, I have four people. So I'm going to assign people to these tasks. I'll start off with task A and I'll go to the resources tab and click on assign and then I will start assigning people and I want you to watch the duration of that task which is one day. Assign Anne, so I've assigned Anne, now if I just click on this and just open this up a little bit so you can see it. There's Anne, she's on that task, nothing happened to that duration. Now you might want to throw extra resources at that task if I assign somebody else so I'll assign, click onto a task. I'll assign Ben. Ben is on that task. Nothing happened to that duration. So the default setting is no, nothing happens to a task when you add additional resources. If I add two more people to that task, assign they go on there, nothing's happened to that. So throwing resources, extra resources at a task, default task, has no impact on the duration whatsoever. And that is because the default setting on a task is this. If I double click into task A, it will open up um, task information. And if I go into the advanced tab, it'll show you the default setting. So task types, fixed unit, no tick on this effort driven no tick now if that was ticked and in previous versions of project and i'm going back a few years here that was the default setting you could have that ticked, and you can change that in options as well if you tick that what i've just done on that first task will have an impact so what i want to do on this second task is exactly that so i'll cancel that off for a minute click on task b double click into it and put that tick on so there is an effort driven tick so Ticking that, fixed units, effort driven. Click OK. Now what's going to happen? I'll just put this duration up to two days so it's a bit more impacting. So on task B, I've got a two day task. I'm going to assign an. Assign, nothing happens to the duration because that is like my initial allocation. So nothing happens. And if I remove Anne and highlight all four people as my initial allocation assign, nothing happens to the duration because that's me just assigning resources to, to a task. What happens if I remove those? If I say assign Anne, first off, nothing happens. What happens now, though, if I go down individually and assign people, that is as if I'm adding extra resources to this. So basically, I'm saying that two people can do that task quicker. So if I assign Ben, assign, that has now dropped that down to one day because there's now 16 hours of work going off in a one day period. That's basically what's happened there. And if I start adding these other two, one at a time, it continues to drive it down. So there's four, there's four of them there, they're doing four hours. So they're just doing an hour a day. That basically works an hour each. So that's what that's happened there. So it continues to drive it down. So if you don't want that to happen, you need to make sure that tick is off. Now, if I go into task C, don't worry about the over allocated for this. If I double click into task C, what's going to happen here is I want to show you a different task type. So that one was fixed units. Now you've also got in there fixed duration and fixed work. So if I go fixed duration first, again, you've got the tick option. At the moment, it's not on. So the duration can't come down in this example when you add extra resources because you've got it fixed. So this would be like a training event or something like that. So if I now go through the same process of adding people, I assign Anne. Nothing happens to the duration, and I assign Ben. 
nothing happens to the duration. So what is happening? Now, I haven't allocated any cost to these people, but if I do that, if I go to the resource sheet and just give them some figures on here, let's just say they're all on £10. So £10, and then I can just pull that down for the rest of them. All right, so they're all on £10. Now, if I go back to the Gantt chart, we've now incurred costs. So that first task, everybody's it paid all day. This task, they paid £40. This task, the two of them, I paid the full whack £80 a day. So what's happening here is the duration is not changing. So when you assign people, they're just getting their normal pay. As this one shows you here, they're all getting £80. If I add everybody. They're all getting £80. So that would be like a training event where everybody turns up for a six hour or eight hour course. They're all getting the full pay, but the actual duration of the course is fixed. It could be a two day course or whatever. Now there is an option in there to have a fixed duration task with the tick on. So if I do that one, if I get into it and go fixed duration tick on, what's going to go down here? It's not going to be the duration because it's fixed. It's still a one day training event. Clicking OK. What happens? So instead of the duration reducing when you assign people first off Anne is on 80 quid the, that's 80 pound for her to do work but if you sign somebody else assign somebody else you see what happens there it is driving down the hours that they're both doing so now on it's still 80 pound for the day but these two are just getting 40 pound each and then if you add the other two you can see there it's just divided up between the eight hours so they're all doing two hours each of work in effect so with the tick on it's the actual work that is is reducing the work is reducing now i want to add one last task which is fixed work if i put task e and i'll put this as 10 days and i want to change this to a fixed work task so i'm double clicking into that There we go, got it. Fixed work, the last one. You don't have the option of putting the tick on or off, but you can see, that even though it's greyed out, you can see that that tick is on. That means it's going to drive the duration down. I click OK. Now, to do a fixed work task, you need to insert the work column. So if I just right click up here and insert column. And then type W to get work. I want the work column. Then you'll see the actual hours effort that's allocated to each of these tasks. 32, 16, 32, 8. 8 hours. So if I've got a fixed work task, I might want to do 1 hour per day for 10 days. So I'll go 10 hours over 10 days. And then if I assign and to that, if I assign Anne to that, she's doing 13% of her maximum time across that. Now, if I just close this off a minute and do a split screen so you can see the actual breakdown of the hours. So I've got to details and change that to task usage. If that resource usage I'll go for. So she's got the hours there. I forget that she's over allocated. So we're looking at task E. She's working 10 hours. Now, if I bring this screen back over so you can see it. And come across so we can see the actual breakdown of that. So it's just one hour per day on that task. That's what that's doing. Now, if I go back into resource and assign another person what's going to happen is it's going to draw down the duration because that tick is on if i click assign that's now dropped right down to 1.11 days 
which is not what I want. So you can manually override that. So I'm going to put that back to 10 days and the hours, if I highlight that task again, you can see that they're now doing that amount of hours per day between them, the two people. Now, if I close this down, get rid of the split, go back to view, take that tick off, get rid of the split, open that back up. Oops. So, what you have to be aware of when you're doing Microsoft Project is what type of task type do you want? If you've got an issue when you're running the project, or you've saved a baseline and you're going forward and you need to get a task done quicker, you can go into it and put the tick on effort driven. And then when you add the extra resources, it will pull the timeline back. And then you can take that tick off once you've done that. So it's something to be aware, aware of so that you're getting the best out of project. But that's all I want to talk about in this little video. So hopefully that was of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.